For years, women have been sidelined in certain career paths due to gender bias, particularly in fields traditionally dominated by men. However, times are changing, and one industry where women are increasingly making their mark is shoemaking, a business long associated with men. Victoria Ezenachuku is a shining example of this shift. As a female shoemaker, she has steadily built a name for herself in an industry once dominated by men. Her success highlights the growing presence of women in the trade and serves as an inspiration to others. TV 360's Sydney Okafo completes the story. Victoria is in Nachuku. The founder of Car Design is a graduate of the Federal University of Technology, Oweri, in Imo State, where she studied crop science and technology. Delving into shoemaking during her school days was not difficult, thanks to her gift of craftsmanship. Growing up, Victoria exhibited qualities that proved that she would end with the skills of her hands. Coming from humble beginnings, she had to deal with doubts from friends and family who saw shoemaking as a menial job in Nigeria. Started from school. Uh, we had a church training in school where we were taught Ankara crafts. By the end of the training, I was the best student. And so our trainer decided to work with me. I was working with her for her other jobs. Then we had a strike in school. I went home, I was bored, I decided to go and further my Ankara craft knowledge, after which I was doing trainings. I had a lot of trainings, both physical and online. So but for me to now go into leather works, it was born from my customers' requests, when they are always asking for, oh, can you make this? It's now beginning to blend Ankara and leather. So I saw the need to go into leather craft. Despite these challenges, Victoria did not relent on her dream of becoming a professional bespoke shoemaker. She now runs a thriving shoemaking enterprise. Her shoes are eye-catching and trendy. She also makes belts, female handbags, wallets and slip-ons. She currently has 11 apprentices and two staff learning and working under her. While we were in school, we were at loggerheads every time because you know there is lecture and immediately class closes i'm running off to my workshop i had like a a small passerby uh workstation i'll call it it wasn't a shop it was a workstation along the road in school so this lady was always mocking me she'll be like you were sent here to study if you don't want to study go home you did not even find anything good to learn shoemaking that's how she puts it but let's say seven years down the line She's now learning the same shoemaking and then she's saying, oh, my role model, I, I have a question. Can you put me through this? I believe she probably does not even remember those days or maybe the, the direction I have taken shoemaking to, the, where I am today as a shoemaker has probably made her see shoemaking in a different light. The learning here has really been amazing and it's kind of fun too, <laughs> you know. You're learning on your car, so you have to, you know, and you need that car, you know, maybe I need to. Victoria has been able to scale through in a male-dominated shoemaking industry, and now she is dreaming big. So in the next five years, car designs will be going into production in a bespoke style. I am very sure nothing like that has been heard of before. So production in the bespoke style means that we'll be rolling out hundreds to thousands of shoes weekly, but we're still going to maintain the standard of car designs. Victoria's works have attracted clients both home and abroad. She aspires to be an influential figure in Nigerian bespoke shoe industry. She also plans to establish an academy where young girls can pursue careers in fields that are dominated by men without fear of rejection from society. Sydney Okafo, TV360, Lagos.